Hello, it is I, Vadim, and today I am going to unbox ASRock B650E Steel Legend Wi-Fi motherboard. I will show you what it looks like, what comes in a box with it, and I will walk you through the main features of this motherboard. So let's jump in. Motherboard is packed inside of a separate tray, well padded, with lots of protection for the transportation. I'll put this to the side for now and we are going to have a look what comes in the box with it. Okay, so right off the bat, CPU installation procedure guide, user manual, everything is well illustrated. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi accessories. That's the antenna. And the stand for it. Unfortunately, there is no magnet here, so it's just a double-sided sticker. You can place it uh, on uh, some kind of surface, wherever you like. And this thing is uh, attached like so. You just slide it in there. It clicks into place. And there you go. That's your antenna. You also get a, well, nice looking keycap. Let's have a look at this thing closer. All right, check this out. Next up, it's pretty standard, but we get two SATA cables and also one, two, three M.2 screws and one M.2 standoff screw. What is not standard with most motherboards is that it comes with some Velcro ties for cable management, just in case your case doesn't have any. These are very handy, I like those. And this thing right here is a GPU holder. Right, so with how huge and heavy GPUs are, you need one of these. It will either come in the box with your GPU, but in case if you are getting one that doesn't have one, then, you know, with this motherboard you're covered. Okay, so now let's continue unpacking the motherboard. Some padding. There it is. Oh, uh, yeah. That is not a problem because it is tied down with zip ties. Yeah, it is packaged very well for transportation. Let's just quickly cut those and have a look at the motherboard.
here it is completely unpacked. But there's some protective film left. Let's peel it. Oops. Right, so this is kind of messed up because look at that. This film, this protective film, is stuck underneath here. It's stuck between the heatsink and the plastic. What the fuck? What the hell? Come on, Azrock. It's ridiculous. Right, so I managed to pull everything out, but there's still like a little piece stuck there. Hold on, let me get my tweezers. All right, so with just uh, normal tweezers, I can't get in there. It is stuck pretty good there, just on the side. Right, yeah, this is not a good unpacking experience. Up until now, everything was very good, uh, but this right here is a pretty big fail. I don't know, uh, maybe change the way you apply this protective film because this is not this is not the way to go. Yeah, that's stuck there real good now. I need uh, some other tweezers that are thinner than this to get inside of there. Okay, let's move on and have a look at uh, the features of this motherboard. That's a big shame because I'm a big fan of Steel Legend motherboards. They're very nice to look at and uh, good performers as well. You get Usually you get very nice performance per dollar or quality per dollar, however you want to look at it. And also something a little bit different with the IO shield. If you have a white case, then this would look very nice. Also thumbs up for the attached pre-installed IO shield. It's always good to have. Right, so what do we have on the I.O. shield? We get BIOS flash, HDMI, display port, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 USB type A ports, USB type C, 2.5 gigabit LAN, and another way to connect to the network is Wi-Fi 6E. That's the latest and greatest technology for the wireless connection. You connect those antennas that we've seen earlier into here. Actually, not antennas, just one antenna. And of course, on the motherboard of this caliber, you get your optical audio. Other than that, microphone and speakers connection. The back of this motherboard is all matte. It is a matte finish. I'm loving that. I'm a big fan of matte black colors. Well, anything matte, really. And on this side, matte black finish continues with some other bits and pieces that are a bit glossy, but not too much. Looks nice. I can see how this motherboard can fit in into a black and white or purely white case. The power delivery system is quite strong on this one. 16 plus 2 plus 1 with two 8-pin CPU power connectors and massive heat sinks for cooling that VRM. Check it out. Very nice fins, a lot of metal to dissipate that heat. So you can drop in Ryzen 9 7950X in here, no problems. Some of the slots are reinforced, like this top PCIe 5.0. Yes, this is Gen 5 slot over here. 
And also we get reinforced RAM slots. This is DDR5. As all AM5 motherboards are, there are no DDR4 motherboards available with these new Ryzen CPUs. Another standout feature is this Thunderbolt connector here. So you can get an accessory to get Thunderbolt on here. In terms of storage expansion, you get Gen 5 M.2 SSD underneath here. And, you know, you, you need these kinds of cooling solutions now for the Gen 5 because those SSDs are getting hot when in operation for long periods of time if you're doing some kind of intensive work with the SSDs. That is good to have. Additionally, you get two more M.2 SSDs which are both Gen 4 under here with a thinner heatsink. If you want to connect your hard drives, then you get just two SATA ports. It is kind of limiting, but it is what it is. At least you are getting a lot of expansion slots with the M.2 drives. For the front panel, of course, you get all your USBs and USB 3 ports and the latest USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 20 gigabit per second port for the front panel. In terms of fan connectors, you get one CPU and one CPU slash water pump connectors. So that's two in total up here. For the case fans, you get one, two, three, four fan connectors. And for the RGB, it is a pretty standard site now where you get one RGB and one, two, three addressable RGB connectors. Overall, this motherboard is very well equipped in terms of features, as well as, you know, the Gen 5 PCIe slots. It's pretty nice. It's looking pretty good as well, with this silver and black and white finishes. I think it would go well in any white PC case. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.